Hi everyone, today I have a fun app to show you. It's called Kitty Media. It's by a company with the same name. And uh, boy, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck on this one. There's nine different activities to choose from, each activity allowing you to choose a different skill level. And if you do the math, that's over 400 games your child can play. Also, this app is customizable for teachers and parents, but we'll get to that at the end. First activity we have here is a puzzle game. Okay, I'm going to choose easy. Can you solve the puzzle? Okay, yes, I think I can. As you can see, on the easy oh, right. level, they give you six puzzle pieces here and some positive reinforcement coming up. Wow, great job! That's cute. And I just want to show you that there is a very substantial difference in difficulty levels here. That was easy. Click difficult. And Can you solve the puzzle? And you'll see there's a lot more puzzle pieces there to choose from. That one's going to take you a little bit more time. And all the activities are like that. Okay, going down the line, we have a connect the dots game. Click easy. Tap on the circle with the right number in it. Can you guess what it's going to be? Okay, this is essentially a counting game. Um, we're going to be counting from 1 to 16 going down the line and creating an image. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, this game alternates between numbers and letters, so if we click the arrow here to go to the next game. Tap on the circle with the right letter in it. Can you guess what it's going to be? Now your child's going to be practicing their alphabet. Okay, our next activity is a stamp book. It's purely a creative game. Can you make me a nice drawing? Yes, I can. Um, you can choose from different um, themed backgrounds here. Can you make me a nice drawing? A farm's good. I like space, but a farm will do. As you can see, you can pick some different farm animals here. Go for a chicken. And it allows you the option to, you know, make the stamp that you choose bigger or smaller, or you can also rotate the image. Oh, that's pretty. And you'll get positive reinforcement all the way through. Moving right along, our next game is matching the picture to the shape. So let's check it out. Try to match the pictures to the shades. Okay. So it looks like we have some fruit here. Drag them down. So let's see what kind of reward we get this time. Wow, great job. Thumbs up. You, know, you never know what you're going to get with this game as far as positive reinforcement, but it's always a nice surprise. Uh, the next game we have here is Guess the Hidden Image. Can you guess what's hidden here? Okay, so you want to flip the tiles. Ooh, I don't know what that is. What is this? Ooh, looks like a gorilla. I want to go for it. So when you think you know what it is, click the um, little light bulb here. There you go. Okay, our next game here is a visual discrimination game. Which pictures belong together? Okay, so here we have uh, pictures that are essentially split in half. They're different shoes. Uh, you drag the right one. And they give you a whole variety of different um, images you have to match here. Which pictures belong together? Okay, we have Easter eggs. Which pictures belong together? Which pictures belong together? Now this one's a little bit more thought-provoking. Um, it looks like we have vehicles that need something. A uh, boat that needs a sail. Helicopter that needs a propeller. Car that needs a tire. Balloon that needs a little basket. And a bike that needs another bike. <laughs> And the fireworks are my favorite. Okay, moving right along, we have a sequencing game here. Can you put these in the right order for me? Okay, it looks like we have to figure out which stages a frog goes through from being an egg to a full-grown frog. Eggs, tadpole, um, looks like it's got its first fins there, some legs, Finally, a frog. Woo-hoo! <laughs> Woo-hoo is right. Now we have a memory game here. Which pictures belong together? Okay, you flip over the card. Flip-flops with I heart feet. <laughs> OK. 
Okay. There you go. You get the idea and um, Which pictures belong together? You never know quite what you're going to get. We have flip-flops, now we have our little farm animals that we like so much. Okay, this one's great. This is a maze game. Find your way through the maze, rescue your buddies from jail, and find the exit. Okay, you heard her. We have to rescue our friends from jail and then find the exit. I'm sure that our friends were falsely prosecuted. Um, one thing I like about this game is that they use the same kind of cute little blob characters, but you can choose from different themes. This one's my favorite. We have a ninja level here. You free your friends. No! They are very happy about it. And you drag our little friends to freedom. Excellent! <laughs> Okay, and lastly, I want to touch on the fact that the developers took a lot of time to make this app customizable, and it's pretty cool. This is our customize icon, but first I want to show you the information icon, which is right here. Okay, you can customize for parents or customize for teachers. For parents, you can add your own personal photos of your children, your family pet, uh, whatever interests your child and give all the activities a little bit more of a personal touch and a personal experience. And if you're a teacher, you can customize these activities for whatever kind of curriculum you're teaching. Um, sort of spice things up in the classroom and try new intuitive ways to get your students uh, enthralled with their subjects. Um, it's real easy to do. You just have to sign up. It's not a big deal. It took me about 30 seconds. You make a username, a password, and then you uh, give them your email but I just want to show you that when you click on that it actually opens up in your internet browser not a big deal just close out and go back to the app and right here in this customize icon it's going to give you a lot of great directions you just click learn more all you do is sign up and like I said it's as easy as one two three and they have some really great tutorials here on YouTube which uh, make it even more easy. So anyway, if you love to customize your apps or if you're a teacher looking to try new things in the classroom, check it out. Uh, take care. That was Kitty Media, and I will see you next time.